Hi you guys, thank you for watching Cooking with Amy. Tonight we are going to make a delicious, yummy dish. Someone had asked about um, Brussels sprouts, if I had any recipes. So I had found one that I had saved um, a while back and I'm like, one of these days I'm gonna make it. Well, I decided let's go ahead and make it. So tonight we are making garlic chicken Parmesan and with Brussels sprouts. So this is going to be pretty much, well, I'm gonna say one dish, but it's not, I'm gonna use more than one. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I have is, we're, I'm doing two different kinds, is what we're, we're gonna do for our, our chicken, for the Parmesan. So usually you need one cup of um, breadcrumbs. I'm doing a partial of breadcrumbs, and then I'm going to do one with almond flour. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to make toasted almond flour. So what you wanna do is just take a cookie sheet. We're gonna put the almond flour on here and kind of spread it out. Now you don't have to do this with the breadcrumbs because they don't, they don't have to be like that. So I'm gonna spread this out a little bit, just kind of like so, like that. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven and I'm gonna, we're gonna watch it because it will burn and whatnot but we're gonna make them nice and toasty. And then what we're gonna do when it starts getting nice and toasty, we're gonna kind of move, um, move them around a little bit and then make sure that it's toasted all the way around. So let's stick this in the oven. I have my oven preheated at 400. We are, when we're done toasting this, we are going to change it um, and preheat the oven to 425. Is it? No, I'm sorry, 450. And because that's what we'll need for the, the chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and get these toasted. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the rest of our stuff. So what I wanna do is, I've got my chicken, we're not gonna, we're gonna touch that yet either. We're gonna put that aside for a minute. So what we wanna get started is um, in our pan, we're gonna add some olive oil and we're gonna put our Brussels sprouts in there. So let's go ahead and get that going. So I'm using a pan that you want, well, you, first off, you wanna use a pan that you can stick in the oven. So this one here is my cast iron pan, and that's what we're going to use. Let's see, can you guys see what I'm doing here? Let me change you a little bit. Let me turn that light on too, so I can give you a little bit more light in here. Also, um, we also are gonna make some um, potatoes. So I have some golden potatoes in a pot over here. We're gonna go ahead and get those started so they can start cooking as well. Okay, all right, so in our pan, Now I got some of these prepped already and all I did for my um, Brussels sprouts is I cut the bottoms off and I just kind of removed the top half of them to make them look pretty and then I just cut them in half. So what we're gonna do is on our pan, go ahead and stick some yummy deli delicious avocado oil in there. And then what you wanna do is just take your Brussels sprouts, put them face down. Now you don't have to make them all pretty like this but you kind of want them, oops, let's get our oven on here. We at least want to get them down. Should have turned that on beforehand, but that's okay. We've got plenty to do tonight to make this a yummy little dish. All right. And then when we're done putting this in here, we'll check on our um, our avo. Whoops, I forgot to cut one. Hold on. We will check on our um, almond flour. Okay, again, we're just gonna cut this in half. Put those in here. And then we have these little scraggly bits. Those are some of my favorite. These here, we're just gonna throw those in there because we want that, we want those to sit up in here as well. Oh, this is gonna be, I'm kinda excited. I, I haven't really done it this way. I mean, I've always baked mine, but I haven't done it like this, so I'm pretty excited. And we're gonna save this pan because we're gonna have to remove these from, from the, the pot to do our chicken. So, I was gonna say this is a one pot kind of dish, but we're gonna, we're gonna use the same pan for both. We're gonna use this pan for our chicken and pan for, for these Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna set this aside. 
And then what I want to do is I'm just going to add just a little bit more just to make sure they are coated. We're going to let that sit. And then we're going to go get, or we're going to check on our almond flour. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So see how our almond flour is? Let me see if I can get it out so you can kind of see too. I think it's still okay, but hold on. Okay, yeah, so it's not, it's not doing anything yet. We're checking, checking too early. All right. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started on our chicken and get our chicken ready. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take a chicken breast and you're gonna to want to cut it in half. Now, if you're doing a big, huge family, um, you probably use less chickens. So it's I'm just doing two of them because there's, well, there's only really two of us. So. All you're gonna do is move this out of the way so it's not in the way. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand on top of the chicken breast. This is the chicken breast, and I'm just gonna take my knife. Let me just kind of show you. Take my knife on the side and just kind of go through it. Oops, you kind of wanna try and make it as even as possible, but You are just gonna go through it like so. Don't cut your fingers, because that won't be good. And then you have it half. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Again, go through the, the fatty part or the thicker side in the middle, and then just go through. And again, you're just cutting it in half. That's all you're doing. You can kind of do this if you want to. My board keeps moving and I don't want to cut my fingers. So again, you're just going to cut your chicken in half. And then we'll mess with those. So there you go. This would at least feed four people. Or if not, you have dinner for the next night. All right. Wash our hands. So this part is ready. I left most of my prepping for you guys. Hi Levi, how are you? How are you and the fam? All right, so we're gonna check on our almond flour real quick. I'm gonna show you guys. See how it's kind of getting a little bit toasty in there? A nice little brown color to it. So what you wanna do is grab your spatula and just kind of move it around a little bit, like so. So that way we can get some of the other portions of it and get it nice and toasty. And then again, just kind of flatten it out a bit so we can kind of get an even coat on them. This is just toasting your almond flour. That's all you're doing. Okay, and we'll stick that back in there. And then you can see our Brussels, Brussels sprouts are starting to sizzle, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna read our directions. So it says in, and we, we can do this with, with this breadcrumbs, we'll do this one here. So let's see, in a bowl, combine your toasted almond flour or your breadcrumbs. You wanna add some Parmesan cheese. So it usually says like one cup, um, but tonight I'm dividing this between the two. So I'm gonna just share half of this with each one. So we're gonna put that in there and then it also says one tablespoon of olive oil or avocado oil. So I am gonna add some in there and I'm gonna use a fork for this because this is gonna go on top of our chicken. So you kind of met when, when I was reading it, you wanna make like a little crumbly type thing. See how it's kind of getting a nice little crumble to it? I'm making a mess too. So we wanna make sure we kind of get all of that incorporated. I am gonna add a little bit more of this just because I like to have a little extra in there. Because I really want to have that kind of crumbly 
little yummy little taste for it. Now I'm gonna have to remember which is which, but I think I can because this one has this, it's got some little spices in it. Okay. Now, like I said, if you guys aren't doing a low carb or anything like that, you guys don't have to do the almond flours. Like I said, you can you can do or the almond flour, not flours. Um, you can do just regular bread breadcrumbs. I try and stay away from it because I try and do a low carb kind of diet, and just some of this sometimes it just doesn't agree with me. So we'll set that aside, and then we are just waiting for our um, cauliflower or not cauliflower, our almond flour to finish cooking and um, our Brussels sprouts to finish kind of browning up. You wanna leave them for a few minutes, like maybe two, three minutes. I'm doing it a little bit longer because I forgot to turn my pan on, but that's okay. So, um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, because once we're done cooking um, the Brussels sprouts, we're gonna move them to the pan that they were in, and then we're gonna put the chicken in there and start doing the chicken. So we're only gonna do the sear the chicken on one side. Um, so we're gonna do salt and pepper on it before we put it in our pan, and then put it in there um, with the side that's not with salt and pepper yet. Um, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so since we are waiting, we do need some garlic, so we are gonna mince in some garlic. Let me kinda of clean up my little mess here. Oh, I wish you guys can smell because I love the smell of broccoli or not broccoli cauliflower and it smells really good in here and you can just really smell that that broccoli cooking it smells so delicious all right all right let me see how many garlic we need okay three to four So I figured since we had time to do all of this, I wasn't doing any prepping ahead of time because there's a lot of waiting in between time. So. Okay. Okay, and you guys know me, I love garlic. So we'll probably do, you know, as much garlic as we possibly can. Out of there. All right, we'll just do one, two, three. We'll do this one too, why not? All right, let's get that extra off of there. All right, so let's check our um, Brussels sprouts. Let's see how they're doing. Please stick it in nice and food on the bottom. Now, to be honest with you, when I was looking at the recipe, it said just leave them until they get, they're starting to get like this. But I really want to get a good coat on both sides. I know we're going to stick this in the oven, but still, I really like mine nice and cooked. So I'm kind of flipping them so I can get the other side as well. So it's not just one side. It gets all that yumminess on it. And then also what I think I'm going to do too is give it a little bit of flavoring. I am going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on it. Even though I am trying to follow the directions on how this one is done, I kind of like doing my own thing. And I'm going to put just a smidge more in there to help coat it and go it along. Alright, I'm going to put some salt. Just a little bit, because we are going to add a little bit more salt to the other things that we're going to do. And then we're going to add a little bit of pepper. And get it some flavor as well. And I'm going to move that around a little bit, just because, like I said, I really want to give it that coat. Look at that, isn't that look yummy, you guys? Oh, look at those. Okay, we're gonna give it a few more minutes on this, and we're gonna go ahead and get some of our garlic going, and then we'll come back and remove these, and then um, 
we'll start doing our chicken, okay? Okay, all right. Wanted to clean off my knife real quick and again we are just going to get these garlics peeled and then we'll get them ready for later on in this recipe like i said i'm doing my prepping with you guys tonight Okay, and so for the garlic, when I usually do them, you guys have seen me do this before, but I'll show you again, is I usually cut the ends off, give it a good little tap. Now this one had one more than one in it. And then it's really easy to peel that top off. Oh, this definitely has more, it has way more than one. It has quite a few in it. All right. Make sure this one's peeled all the way. We are going to remove our um, Brussels sprouts from the pan and we'll go ahead and get our chicken going. All right, so again, like I said, I saved this pan that we had them in. And we're just going to remove them and put them aside. So everything is gonna go back in this pan. And like I said, you want to make sure that you are going to use a pan that can go in the stove, or in the oven, I should say, um, because when we're doing done doing this, that's where it's going to go. All right. I'm going to have to get this one out, get this stove up. So we start getting things cooking and going. Oh, it's so easy. Hi, Jill. How are you? All right. So we are going to set this aside. These are our Brussels sprouts. Like I said, we're going to use those in a minute. We're going to grab our chicken. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with our chicken, because like I said, we've got them cut in half. We're gonna take one side, put a little bit of salt on it. And we're gonna do a little bit of pepper. Let's do a little bit more pepper on that one. Okay, and then in our pan, we're gonna go ahead and put some more oil in it. And let's see. Because I'm gonna need those fingers, we're going to use our little tongs. So we're gonna put that side down and then that side down as well. And then again with the other half, put a little bit of salt, put a little bit of pepper, and then again, put this side down, and let those babies cook. Oh good, I'm glad you're doing good and I'll keep you in my prayers. So hopefully, you know, you'll be doing better as well. All right, again, we're just doing some, um, some garlic here while well, chicken cooks. And same thing with the chicken, we're only gonna cut, we're gonna cook it on one side and then it's gonna go bada bing, bada boom. Oh, our, 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 um, Okay, our almond flour is definitely toasted. That's a little bit too toasty, but that's okay. It's not for us. But that's what you want. You want nice and toasted almond flour. All right, let's get this in our little bowl here. And 
All right, we'll do this without trying to get burnt. Oops. Hold on. Okay, I just had to change it into a different direction so I can get it. All right, I'm gonna keep getting that in there. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just put my almond flour in here. To read my directions real quick. So again, this here is our going to be our topping. So we're going to add the rest of our parmesan in there, and then we're going to add some of our avocado oil, and then we're going to mix this one up as well. Get that in there. Get it all nice and mixed up in there. Again, this is going to be on top of our chicken. So this one is more of a gluten-free or a keto, if you want to say, um, topping instead of breadcrumbs. So, hello you guys. If you guys are just now tuning in, we are um, making Brussels sprouts and chicken for dinner. And then it's a Parmesan, so we're just kind of making our topping right now for the chicken while the chicken is cooking. All right, I think this is all good. We're gonna let that set aside as well. Okay. Okay, so we need to get moving. So we are going to take out, sorry, I had a look here real quick. We're gonna take our chicken out. So we're going to use the same pan that the Brussels sprouts are in. So don't worry about not, that I didn't cook the other side. It is perfectly fine right now. Because you're going to see what we're going to do. So that's perfectly fine. So we're going to set those aside just for a minute. And we're going to take our pan and kind of remove it from the stove just for a minute. Because we need to get our garlic going. All right, we are going to do maybe not all of the garlic. That's okay. We've got actually quite a bit more than I had anticipated. All right, we're going to need our garlic. Let me just finish getting some of these done. And we'll do one more, one more big one. And then, because we have to dice up our onion too. Because the next step, we need the garlic, the butter, and the onion. Oh, this looks like there's a bunch of little pieces in these big ones. I'm, I'm being bamboozled here. Or bam, shambooboo? I don't know. I don't know what that word is called. Bamboozled. That's what it is. Okay. Let's get these out of here. Get this going. And this should be good enough. I can get that skin off of it. There we go. And then the rest of stuff we'll just kind of save for a little bit later. Get some of these garlics out of here. All right. Let me set these aside because we're going to use them in a second. We need this. So. All right. I'm going to have a mess to clean up a little bit later here. Okay. We're going to do an onion real quick. So on your onion, you just want to dice it up. I cut mine in half, and I just might use half of it because I don't think I need all of it. Let will see here in just a second. Because I'm not doing a whole full recipe. I'm not doing a whole lot of chicken, so I don't know if I need all of it. All right. 
Let's just make a mess tonight. All right. We're just gonna dice these up real quick. I'm just gonna do it really quickly because like I said, we need to put it in our pan. We're gonna have to put some butter in there. Here I was thinking I was going to be all prepared and be all good to go. I should have had those done too. All right. I think we're good. So it's going to need a, like two tablespoons of butter. So let's go ahead and get some of this butter in there. And we're using the same pan that we just did the Brussels sprouts and the chicken in. We're gonna get those in there so they can start melting down. We're gonna take our garlic, but first we're gonna put our onions in there. Let's chop this one up too. Okay, so we're gonna put our onions in there. And we're gonna take this over with us because we're gonna do that as well. All right, come on, let's go to the stove. All right. So, we've got our butter in here cooking. It's starting to melt down a bit. Put that all incorporated everywhere. Break up some of those little bits that are on the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. All right, now I'm going to take my onions. I'm put my onions in here. And so, whoops, I've got a whole thing of garlic in there. One jump ahead. All right, let's go ahead and get our onions in there. All right, my nose, I just, my hair keeps touching my nose. Okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our garlic in here too. So I just put a few cloves of garlic in here and we're just going to mince those up. But I love the smell of onions cooking. Get those babies in there. Put the rest of our garlic that's over here and put it in here as well. Right. Get some of that extra garlic in there. And we'll go back and get those. Oh, my garlic is like. Or the onion is getting in my eyes. Okay. Put that garlic in there. And then like I said, with these ones here, you kind of get that garlic kind of sticking up on the sides here. So I just put it back in there and we'll mince it again. See, get a whole bunch more out of it as well. So what I like to do is I like to go in, scrape the sides, whatever's up in there, it goes in too. Then, what we're going to do is mix all of this around in here. Get all of those flavors, get, look at that. So with the butter and all of this stuff on here, it's starting to get release some of those bits on the bottom, which you want. I'm just gonna cook these for a few minutes. And I'm gonna look at my recipe. Then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. And I grab the other stuff that we're gonna put in here. So let's put a nice little pinch of salt in here. And a good little pinch of pepper in here as well. Do some of that seasoning. All right, let's mix all that around to get help get some flavors. Ooh, I love the smell of onions cooking. Oh my gosh, yeah. All right. Now we let that cook just for a few minutes. We are going to go ahead and add. Oops, wrong one. I'm grabbing the wrong one. 
That's deep rock. I don't want you. Okay, we're grabbing our chicken broth. So we're going to add our chicken broth in here. Okay. And then just a smidge of our balsamic. And put that in here too. That's about it. That's all we need. And then it's kind of make be careful. Just mix that around a little bit. And then what we're going to do is with our chicken that's in here, we're going to put salt and pepper on the other side again. I'm going to add some salt. Alright, and then we're going to transfer it back to our pan. So the side that we did not cook, we're going to place them in our pan. And see how pretty this front side is? I can't have to show you guys because it looks beautiful. Look at that nice little crusty on that side. Oh, it looks delicious. All right, we put that back in the pan. We're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna add, I just wanted to double check on the recipe. This is my first time, like I said, making this. We're gonna add our Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts back into the pan as well. Okay, I forgot I had to change my my oven temperature, but that's okay. All this in here. You see kind of how easy this is? I mean, it's kind of a really simple little dish. All right. Now what we're gonna do is, this one here is the almond flour. Um, this is like our Parmesan topping is what we're going to do. We're going to put these on top of our chicken, pat them down, and I'm just doing two of these with this one, and then the other one I'll just do the, with the regular breadcrumbs. Put these both on there. And then here's our regular breadcrumbs. Same thing, we're gonna just pat this on top. Okay, and as for the potatoes that I have cooking, I have those, um, I turned those on low because I believe those are done. We'll check those in a minute. And if so, we will get those going as well. All right. We are just about done putting all this little yummy, crusty stuff on here. See, and now my oven is ready. See, we have plenty of time to do this. All right. All right, we are going to transfer it to our oven. Again, I changed my oven and I preheated it again to 450. So it just went and dinged and said that it was ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and just stick it in the oven. And... <coughs> okay, so we're gonna cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. We are going to do 15 minutes, and we're going to get our other stuff done. All right, we're going to check our potatoes real quick and see how those are doing. That was a close-up again. Hi, Carl. Sorry. I had a lot of steam going up on my face. Couldn't see you. All right, let's move some of this out of the way. 
check our potatoes. What I do with my fork, I'm just gonna use the same fork so we don't have to dirty too much stuff. Okay, those aren't quite done yet, so we're gonna let them keep going. And I'm just gonna put a lid on them. All right, we're gonna clean up a little bit while everything is cooking, and then we will get ready to make our mashed potatoes. So what I'm doing with our potatoes is I'm taking them and I'm going to um, just mash them up and make potato or mashed potatoes with it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our salt. I've already got our butter. Let's wipe that down real quick. You guys, it smells so good in here. I mean, it smells really delicious. Oh, I have a huge mess to clean on that stove. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is we are also going to do some parsley. Just rinsed off my board real quick that we had the onions and the garlic on so we can use that same board to chop up our parsley. See, it's never out there. Oh, we've got my boy in. Like I hear a scratching at the door. All right, let's go get my boy. Back to chopping. All right, again, so I've gotta figure out which one is which. I have parsley and cilantro in here. Okay, this is my parsley. All right, so I'm gonna take some parsley, and all I'm gonna do, kinda use the top of the knife and shred what I need off. That kinda gets what I need, and then I'm gonna go in and grab just a little bit more off. And the stems are good. The stems are really good for you. They're, there's a lot of nutri nutritionals in there. Or nutrition. Nutritional. Nutrition. Whatever. Nutrients. That's the word. Thank you. My psychopedia over here. I should call her my Suri. <laughs> she always corrects me when I'm wrong. I like it. All right. I always say things wrong. It's all good. I had a, one of my jobs I had, the girls loved it because I always said things wrong and it was like hilarious. We used to call them amenisms. Amenisms? Amenisms. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's get back to shopping. <laughs> oh, let's do what I'm good at. <laughs> So all we're doing is we're going to chop up some parsley because this is going to go on top of our yemly, yemly, yemly. That's, that's a mechanism. All right. We should have bloopers. Bloopers for cooks. All right. I think that's good enough. All right, this is done, and then let's see what else do we need. I think that's all we need that needs to be chopped up. I think other than that, everything else is good to go. We're just kind of waiting for our potatoes, and we've got like about nine minutes left for our chicken and um, Brussels sprouts. All right, let's 
to set this aside and we're gonna check on our potatoes and see how our potatoes are doing. And then maybe clean up a little bit again because I just made it messy. All right. that off. So what I like to do is when I do this is I like to take my butter. Now I like to use a lot of butter but I'm going to try not to use too much. But I don't know. I'm going to say that's about four tablespoons. That's good enough. So what I like to do is when I put my butter in is I like to take my salt and put my salt on top of it as well because then it all helps melt together. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a minute and let it get all nice and melty. I did grab my Parmesan because we're going to use some fresh, fresh Parmesan. And I usually use regular milk, but I don't have regular milk, so I'm just going to use a little bit of um, the heavy whipping cream that I have left over for our potatoes um, to help make it nice and creamy. Make it to my um, beautiful, beautiful masher. It's not the pastry one that I normally use, but that's okay. I got this for Christmas. <laughs> All right, our butter is pretty much melted most of the way, so we're gonna go ahead and mash our little potatoes up in here. And get them started. Oh, I love that sound. All right. I should show you guys what this, is, this beautifulness is looking like. So I like to leave my skins on on this one. Now if I was using the rusket or russet potatoes, I'd probably remove the skin, but I really like the skin on this one here. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at all of that, look at that butter that's getting in there. Mm -mm -mm. This is probably the most unhealthiest part of our dinner tonight, but actually these potatoes I think are good potatoes for you. If not, we're just sticking to it. Now, what I like to do, like I said, I normally use regular um, milk, but like I said, I only have a little bit of this heavy cream, so we're just gonna add a smidge in there. And that's what helps make it nice and creamy. See how all of a sudden it's becoming nice and creamy and just mushing in together? Isn't that just gorgeous? All right, let me flip you guys around so I can get in there and mash. Now this is the perfect time too to go in and check if we need some more seasoning, if we need some more salt, some more pepper. But see, it's just a smidge, just a smidge of that and it makes it nice and perfect and creamy. You don't need a whole lot. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper in here. Mush that in. Salt, I believe we're good on. I don't need any more salt. We don't need any more of this either. Five more minutes and dinner is going to be ready. Now these 
these are perfect little potatoes. Now these are done. Look at that. Look how beautiful and nice and creamy these are. I mean, look at that. They're just perfectly creamy. Mm. Perfect, I tell you, perfect. All right. We are going to start plating this beautiful little dish. It's going to be fancy. Alright. Since we only have just a few minutes left, we're going to go ahead and take these potatoes. We're going to put this on top of our plate. Now this is a great way to serve it to your family, family style. And put those babies on there for right now and then we'll spread them out perfectly right. you guys see that so we're gonna mush this down kind of nice and evenly through here see how nice and creamy that looks isn't that just beautiful Try and make it nice and even, a nice little mashed potatoes. All right. Oh, that smells so good. Wait until you guys see it. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is going to be amazing. Let's make some room for this. Whew. It's like clear the decks, guys. Clear the deck. I think we should take it out a little bit early because we did put a few extra minutes on there. And it should be ready to go. I say we're ready. I say we're ready for this. What do you guys think? I think so. I'm gonna put this right here so we can put them down. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to show you. Okay, you guys ready to see this? <laughs> Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? That's Parmesan chicken with some Brussels sprouts. We have some potatoes. Oh, okay. Let's get this baby plated. All right, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to grab our chicken. Oh, look how pretty. I mean, this is going to look so pretty, you guys. And then we're gonna put these Brussels sprouts right next to it. We've got the potatoes underneath. Oh my goodness. Get the onions from the bottom, we wanna put some of those in there. Just put these along the sides. I wish there was smell vision because this smells delicious. Mm. Alright, 
let's move this out of the way and put some parsley on top of it. We'll put some more Parmesan on it. Wow. Look how gorgeous this looks, you guys. Now this is going to be a good dinner. Take some cheese, grate some cheese on top of it because it is Parmesan chicken. Showing all that love on there. Look at this, you guys. Look how beautiful this dinner is. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, you guys, I'm not taking a bite of it because I want to take a pretty picture of it because it looks gorgeous. All right, you guys, have a great night. Thank you for watching Cooking with Amy. We'll see you next time this Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but we're going to make something delicious. All right, have a great night. Thank you again for watching Cooking with Amy, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great night.